Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how to install FreeNAS. So let's start by what you will need. Well that depends on your use case, but for the most basic setup you will need a spare 64-bit system with at least 8GB of RAM and at least two drives with a minimum capacity of 4GB. The first drive will hold the installation files and this will be later on repurpose as storage. The second drive will hold the OS. Let's go ahead and prepare the drives. Just to be safe, let's format them both. By the way, these are both uh, flash drives, but you can use whatever you want. Okay. Now we can download FreeNAS. Yep. And we will need Win32 Disk Imager. All the links will be down in the description. Okay, let's install it. Okay, now you will choose your installation uh, drive, the drive that will hold installation files. For me, this is F. And um, go to the download folder where you will find the SO. Open and I don't know, but it keeps resetting to German. So, in your case, there should be right. You use the English version. Yes. Okay, ready. Nice. Now we can go ahead and plug them into the NAS system. Okay, now I will reset the first drive so I can plug it into the NAS as storage. If you get this, just cancel and then worry about it, it's fine. So. Okay. Oh. Okay. 
Okay, now I can plug this back into the NAS system. Now let's set up FreeNAS so it actually shows up in your network and you can transfer files to it. Go to your favorite browser and type in the IP shown on your NAS. For me, yes. Now your password. Yeah. That's not really needed. Just why not? Okay. Uh, first, you want to give it a name. I name it just test. Now you want to add storage. For me, this will be the drive I formatted it back earlier. Add a new volume. Name it. Mm, test media. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this can take a little while. So we need to change the permissions for this. Let's go here, change permissions. Write for other and change. Okay. Now we go to the sharing tab. And yeah, depending on on your use case, you would um, add the type of file share you would want to use. In most cases, it would be Windows. So I will do that. Go to the path. Yes. Name. Test. Media share, you can name it whatever. Allow guest access. Yes, you would like to enable the server. Okay, it's done. By now, you should see the server in your network. Okay. Let's put in a dummy file and try. It works. Great. That's about it. The NAS is now ready for file storage. By the way, if your server doesn't show in network, you can just go ahead and type the IP address in here and it will show up. All right. That's about it. I hope you enjoyed it. Have fun.